You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's something about Twitter the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of After Class Coach Gill's episode. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. But yes, in any case, enjoy yourselves. Life for me is all about having fun after all. Thank you. I'll keep this exchange a secret, so you don't have to worry about him finding out. I appreciate you telling me despite you making a promise with him. I'm glad to know that we have someone who cares about him as much as we do. Speaking of, he's been taking a sweet time. I'll check up on him. I'll be right back. Got it. The accident. It's probably how that grand mess in that room started, huh? Fuck, just thinking about it makes my blood boil. I shouldn't have left him alone. That way no one would have to... I grip my teeth while clenching my fist. I feel so angry and hopeless. I know it's something in the past, and there's no way to change that. The things, but the things I'd have done just to have that second chance. I wish I could have. I wish I could have made. I wish I could make things right. Um, are you okay? Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about something. Huh. I asked you to get a wallet, but you couldn't find it. I swear it wasn't there, Mom. Mm-hmm. Sure. You just didn't look hard enough. What? In any case, I have to bring this to Edgar. I'll have to ask you to babysit him a little while longer, Gilbert. I don't need babysitting. It's just wording, dear. Ah, sure, I can stay here a bit. Thank you. Don't mention it. Don't be a bother to Gilbert now, dear. Listen to him, okay? Okay, Mom. She left. Why did she have to embarrass me like that? Heh, <laughs> I'm sure she was just joking. I give him a head pat and then look at him closely. Somehow I feel the need to... I give him a head pat and then look at him closely. Somehow I feel the need to protect him. Suddenly something clicked in me. Now I know why I've been acting this way. Like how I don't want to be a bother, how protective I am towards some people I care about. I feel bad about things, how I please people. How I want to make things right, especially. I see. I get it now. I just want a chance to redeem myself. It's kind of stupid to get this revelation at a random time like this, but I'm glad I got a clearer picture of what's been going on in my head. If that's how it is, then so be it. I can't change our grim past, but I can make the future brighter for us. Kinda cringe, but that's how it is. Hey, I promised you that I'd show you pictures of my old place whenever I come visit, didn't I? I think so. I don't keep track of it. Well, what about- Well, what about we do that before I tutor you? Oh, okay! I spent time with Henry until it's time to head back. Oof, I didn't know tutoring someone was this tiring. Now I'm just lazing around while waiting for Hendrick to come back. Today has been interesting and tiring, but I'm glad it all happened. It's almost time for Hendrick to come home. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I hope it's something good. I'm back! Sure enough, Hendrick came back with something, but it's not what I expected. Instead of takeaway, he brought home, he brought home groceries. Welcome back. Oh, are we making dinner tonight? Yeah, would you mind helping me with it? Sure, I'd love to. I've been looking on the internet for how to be a better, be a better cook since the last time we made dinner together. I think I've improved a little, at least in theory. I'll go take a quick shower. Take your time, but wait, what do you need me to do? Alright. Just build the garlic and chop this paprika to medium-sized even squares. Oh, sure. Make sure to thaw the meat for me. Got it, boss. I helped Hendrick with preparing the ingredients he asked me to do. And it's done! Two spicy beef stir-fry coming up! Whoa, it looks good! I think I did a great for tonight's dinner, even though I was just following the recipe! Huh. Still looks and smells good, I can't wait to dig in. Huh. We still have that bottle of stout we saved the other day, don't we? Yeah. I say tonight we feast like kings! Huh, <laughs> if you say so. I may sound composed right now, but I'm actually very excited about tonight's dinner. I don't drink much, but I enjoy it here and there. Ooh. Excuse me. I'll grab it. Awesome! Don't you think it's weird that we're animal people, but here we are eating beef? Oh god, doesn't that make us cannibals? Huh. Why are you having such an intensity identity crisis right now? I didn't know what stout- I didn't know that stout can make you- what stout can make you drunk. Now I know. It's literally just a few cans of stout beer and he's smashed. He really is a lightweight. If you look at him, you'd think he's the opposite. I suppose looks can be quite deceiving after all. For the first time, I finally can enjoy myself to the fullest. If things don't change, I can get used to this kind of life. Hey, get up. I need to bring you back to your room. 
At least that's what I had hoped for. I was naive to think that was possible. In reality, it's more complicated than that. Everything isn't always black and white. Entry 30th. 30th day. Monday. It's almost been four weeks since I left home. Well, my friends here know I'm away from my house. They don't know I cut ties with my family. They all think that I'm just taking a breather from stuffy family settings. I honestly don't feel like telling them, because there's no reason for me to reveal that. Not to mention it's possible that someone would rat me out. My relationship with Hendrick has been going well. In fact, we're closer than ever. Living together for a while has made us understand each other on a personal level. I've been tutoring Henry as my main source of income, and sometimes an excuse to just hang out with him and Phyllis, if she's around. Edgar still sneaks in sometimes when Hendrick's not around, and it still remains as our little secret. We've also been talking a lot, and I feel like we've gotten pretty close. I'd say like a good friend kind of close. You still write your diary, huh? Some things just don't change. Heh, <laughs> it's good to keep track of things. Wouldn't it be easier if you just record it instead of writing? Heh, <laughs> I don't know. I just like to write it down. I honestly don't know anyone else, especially a male who keeps a diary with him. Second like, you know, water time. All right, guys and gals, we, guys and gals, we are back. Let's jump right back in. All right. But if it works for you, it works. It's a journal. Um, uh, tomato, tomato, same thing. I'll be heading out today. Be okay all by yourself? It's your day off today, isn't it? What do you do? Where are you going? Just going to meet a friend visiting Farfetch. I would take you with, but I don't think there's enough space in the car. That's fine. Don't worry about me. I'll get a day off today anyway. Your tutoring job, right? Yeah. Must have luck. Thanks, Hendrick. Be safe out there. Thanks. I'll miss you. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Going for real now. All right, all right. Well, I'm sure someday I'd read this diary of mine and think, Whoa, I used to be here in this exact position, this exact situation. I don't know what kind of future I'd have, but I think it's going to be a good one. Oof. Huh? Edgar? I wonder what's up. Hey, kid. Morning. Morning, Edgar. You don't usually call me in the morning or at all. What's up? Just wondering if you'd want to come over. I'm alone. You know, you really have to consider your phrasing. It's misleading. What do you mean? It could cause misunderstandings. How? I hope you're not being serious right now. Huh. I'm just messing with you. Good, because I don't want Phyllis to rip my hair off. That sounds like something she would do alright. I'll come over. Just let me cool off first. I just came back from my daily run. Alrighty, see ya. Yeah. Again? Yes? Hmm, on second thought, I'm feeling peckish. Let's eat outside. I'll come pick you up. Oh. Ah, okay, sure thing. I'll get changed to appropriate clothes then. Sounds good. I'll be there in ten minutes. Are Phyllis and Walter coming? No, they're both outside. I'm alone and ready, remember? I see. It's just us then. You bet. Just like a secret date. See you later. What? I have to endure more of his flirty remarks today. I should get ready. Not that I hate it, but it's just so tempting to return to the same thing to him. Gilbert! Hey, Edgar. I missed you. Stop it, it's only been three days. Exactly, it's been too long. Come, give me a hug. I don't want to. Ha! <laughs> Messing with you is just so fun. Not when I'm the one being messed with. Maybe you should mess with me back. Why would I? Mm, you're too uptight. Uh, you gotta relax a little bit. Let off some steam. Heh, <laughs> I'll think about it. Edgar brings us to some place that looks normal? It honestly surprised me, for some reason. I thought Edgar would bring us to eat in a fancy restaurant. Are you sure it's fine for us to eat here? Why is it not fine for us to eat here? Nothing, I guess? Exactly. I just thought you'd bring us to a fancy restaurant, not some place on the side of the road. Oh, you wanted to eat in a five-star dining place? I could get us an empty table if you wanted. Hmm. No, that's not what I meant. I'm just surprised is all. When I think of Edgar Graham, I wouldn't think he'd go to a place like this. Huh. The last name Graham is just a label more than anything else. Sure, I'm grateful for Phyllis and my sons, but having the last name Graham is a big responsibility by itself. Must be hard to be the head of Graham, huh? I take it the Leonard's don't didn't have it easy either. You're not wrong. Don't you wish you could just escape this kind of life sometimes? Heh, <laughs> more often than not. I suppose I can't tell him what I can't tell him that I escaped, at least not yet. 
I propose that we leave and that we leave, leave and live in a small shack like this together, just the two of us. We'd eat in these kind of restaurants every day. <laughs> Stop messing around, Edgar. What if I'm not? The face he's wearing right now doesn't make it less convincing. If I didn't know better, I'd have thought he was dead serious. Uh, come on, don't say things like that. Phyllis would kill both of us if she found out. <laughs> Damn, you're a hard one to crack, aren't you? It's probably that I've seen you do the same pretty much everyone. Hmm, fair enough. Maybe I should stop wooing the ladies and just go for you instead. That didn't make me swoon, not at all. It's a shame that he doesn't swing that way, or maybe he actually swings both ways. Get it together, Gilbert. In front of you is a very charming married man. You might think that if I'm not enjoying his flirty, re flirty remarks, I should just tell him no, but, you know... I secretly enjoy it. It's complicated. Sometimes I do wish that he was being serious about it. That'd be kind of sweet, but for the nth time, I'm going to be—I'm not going to be a homebreaker. The whole thing is just wishful thinking, anyway. Don't do that. <laughs> Sad, but okay. Let's pick our food. Sure. Thanks for bringing me to eat, and also taking me home, Edgar. It's my pleasure. You want to come over for a bit? I'd love to, but sorry, there's something important I must do. Ah, that's okay. I'll just come visit to teach Henry later in the day. Alright, see you later, Gilbert. Bye, Edgar. See ya. Phew, I'm stuffed. The food was great. And now I'm feeling lazy. I'll take it easy until I have to tutor Henry later. After finishing my tutoring with Henry, we exercised together and went out for a walk at the nearby park. But the details don't matter. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot to charge my phone. I forgot to tell Hendrik that I'd be home late, too. I hope he's not worried about me. I'm home. Oh, Gilbert, you're late. Sorry, I wanted to tell you, but my phone died. It's okay, I saw you at the park. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was on my way home when I saw you. Wanted to say hello, but you were talking with someone else. Ah, you should have talked to me. I could have introduced you to him. No need. It was that Graham kid, wasn't it? Oh, right, you're his teacher. Not exactly, but everyone knows him, like I said. Right. You're not doing some weird stuff with a kid, right? What do you mean? Like, it's weird to see an adult hanging out with a minor, so, you know. Huh? What are you getting at? Just don't do anything weird, alright? He's a minor, after all. Are you insinuating that I might be grooming him? No, it's just... I'll say this once and firmly. I am not. I don't want to end up in jail. He's just a childhood friend of mine, that's all. Okay, I believe you. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I get what you mean, but don't make my, but don't make such an assumption. I see. All right. Well, now that you're back, I'll head back to my room now. Don't forget to lock the door, all right? Got it. Good night, Hendrick. Good night, Gilbert. Entry 35, 35th day, Saturday. Oh, good morning, Gilbert. You're up early. Good morning, Hendrick. Did you sleep well? Yeah, it was great. You? Man, I woke up at 3 at 3 in the morning, starving. All I had was tap water. Oh, I'll make us breakfast if you want. Yes, please. I'm still hungry. Heh, all right. I mean, you would still be hungry if all you had was tap water. One plate of grilled cheese sandwiches coming up. Ugh, that looks good. Sorry the grilled cheese is all we have lately. It's okay. I'm thankful that I have breakfast at all. Huh, feel free to dig in. Don't mind if I do. While I'm devouring the sandwiches like I haven't eaten for days, I notice that Hendrick is wearing nice clothes, as if he's going out to see someone. You going out again today? Yes, remember the friend I told you about? He's leaving today, so we're thinking of having a farewell party. Ah, I see. Did I get in your way? What do you mean? You seemed like you were ready to leave, but then I told you I was hungry. Oh, not at all. I'm sure he's still getting ready as we speak. He tends to oversleep, after all. I see. I'm glad to hear that. Even if it was, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't even, I would even cancel the farewell party if you wanted me to. Alright y'all, I'm gonna pause it right there. I'm very tired. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye